Hi there, my name is Tui Fleming and I have been spending most of the day and yesterday producing short video and audio of mindful practices, breathing practices to help people in this time through this crisis. It is so normal for people to be feeling anxious, scared, worried, all of those big emotions and such a huge change and such a sudden and shocking change as well. It is completely normal. It comes from our brain. We have all of us in our brains a very small part, the size and shape of an almond called the amygdala. And it's this part of our brain that senses danger. And when it senses danger, whether that's very real danger or a perceived threat, what happens is it floods the body with cortisol and adrenaline, which fuels our extremities so that we become ready to fight or flee. Now, in this situation, we don't need to fight or flee. What we really need to do is calm our nervous systems down, stabilize ourselves so that we can not only actually be efficient and productive in our work at home, but also so that we have the right role modeling for our children. Because of course, we're at home all together as a collective in our families, whatever shape our family and our home life takes. And so for so many reasons, and really most importantly of all, just for our mental and emotional well-being, we really need to bring ourselves into presence and into connection with our mind and body. One way we can do this is a breathing practice, or there's many breathing practices, but one particular breathing practice which is really good for stabilizing and grounding yourself particularly good for anxiety and also I find with my clients it's a really good practice to use in the transition between work and home. Now obviously that's a lot harder when we're all working at home because the lines have been muddied massively and so when we are flipping between you know the stuff we need to do at home the stuff that we need to do for work, between helping and managing our children and then flipping back into work mode, what we can do is this breathing practice. We can literally just take one or two minutes to breathe in this way that I'm going to show you to recalibrate, recenter, and ready ourselves for the next thing that we need to do, the next hat that we need to wear. The breathing practice is called Apana Pranayama. Pranayama simply means control or restriction of breath. It is a yoga term, but that's all that it means. It means that you are changing your breath intentionally to activate your body in a particular way. So this breath, Apana Pranayama, the word Apana refers to downward flowing energy. So when we are anxious, we're all up in our brain, our breathing can be really rapid and shallow up in our chest, whereas what we want is we want our breathing to be down lower in our belly. We want to encourage deep restorative belly breathing. So that's what we're about to do. If you'd like to follow along with me, you can do it seated, but it's really much more powerful if you stand up. So if you can, find a place to stand up now. Make sure that both your feet are hip distance apart and planted firmly, not strongly, gently, but firmly, evenly on the floor. And then just for a moment before we breathe or before we start this particular breathing practice, just roll your shoulders down away from your ears. Maybe move your neck from side to side, just to release any tension between shoulders and neck, to extend, extend the length between your shoulders and neck so you're not all up like this. So roll those shoulders back down away from your ears. Draw your tailbone down towards the floor so that you're lengthening your spine. And as you do, draw your abdominals in ever so slightly just to switch on your core and to find a certain amount of strength there. So already in this position, you are finding strength and stability in your body. 
preparing yourself for this breathing practice. And now with me, let's synchronize our breathing. So let's all exhale now. And then on your inhale, you're going to visualize sending the breath all the way down past your chest, down to your belly. Pause with the breath there for a beat. And then as you exhale, visualize sending the breath down your legs, past your knees, past your ankles, through your feet, down into the ground below. Again, inhale, visualize sending the breath down past your chest to your belly. Pause. Exhale, visualize sending the breath down your legs, all the way down through your feet, into the floor, the earth beneath you. And then one more time, inhale, send that breath down, down, down to your belly. Pause. Exhale, continue sending that breath down, 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 connecting you here and now, this time, this moment. Return to your natural breath cycle, your natural rhythm now, but stay standing where you are. And for a moment, just notice the difference in the energy of your body. Notice whether you have managed to just bring that energy down a little bit, feeling a little more connected to yourself in this moment, a little more stable, a little more grounded. Notice the feeling because if your feeling has changed, that's you. You've done that with your breath in simply three rounds of breath. So any time when you're starting to feel heightened anxiety, or any feeling that just doesn't feel good in your body, you can stand up and start this breathing practice. Three rounds of breath, five rounds of breath, maybe ten. Do it anytime, anywhere, and you can also guide your children in this breathing practice as well. It's simple enough for them. And so as a family, you have a practice that you can do anytime, Anytime you notice anyone in the family, anyone in your home is starting to feel a sense of anxiety or heightened big emotions of any kind. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has and if you'd like more, um, let the powers that be know, get that feedback through to me. I'm really happy to deliver more well-being, breathing and visualisation practices for you and your family through this time. Stay safe and be well.